Hi guys, so I'm Tarang. I made an analytics package for Meteor and I decided to present in the last hour. So I don't really have a presentation, it's just, um, <laughs> what is that? Text edit? Yep. So it's an analytics package for Meteor and it's for like, because when I started using Meteor, it was quite difficult to get analytics, like especially because everything's so reactive and like you have mixed panel and like, but you couldn't really, like it wasn't as cool as what I imagined it would be. So I just made this package for it and I tried to make it like, so anyone can just use it in their app without putting any code in. Yeah, so um, I'm going to use Satcha's telescope repository. With, so that's basically this like really cool app like sort of like Reddit where you can post links and stuff and like I can go in and you know, you can leave a comment or something. Yeah. And uh, I'll just show you how I add. So I've basically I've git cloned such as repository. That's the first thing I've done. And now I'm just gonna, yeah. So it's to analyze what your users are doing and see what they're doing. And to add it, you just uh, run MRT add analytics, yeah? So I'll just do that. Uh, yep, there. Okay, so that's a bit slow. So I'll just uh, refresh the page. Yeah, not working now all of a sudden, which is not good. <laughs> I'll just restart it. Oh yeah, there's a problem with this because I've not got it working yet on version 0.8.3. Oh dear, it's not working. So Basically, this is the package on Atmosphere. Uh, like there's no code in it. So Okay, I'll just show you how it really works. So you add the package in with that, and then when you start your app up, like you get a sort of pop-up, like I wanna set it up now, and then you, you click the button, so you don't have to add any API code-like thing, and uh, it takes you off to this website, tail.sh, and uh, you'd get an analytics-like thing like this. Let me just sign in. Yeah, so uh, you, you see your visitors in real time, like they're, like whatever they're doing. And I mean like it's seriously creepy to a degree, like <laughs> what you can do. <laughs> like, okay, let's see what I can get. Oh yeah, so I've also linked it up to the hooks in Meteor. So you know how everyone has like um, template dot something dot events. So this way I can basically get all the events in your app, so you don't have to add them again. So when someone does something, we just track it, right? And hopefully I should have some from before. Like, and also I've linked up the users, so when someone signs in, we just get all the users listed over here. So pretty much all the packages on Atmosphere, I've linked them up, so if they're Facebook or whatever, like that's me. So you can see my, it's grabbed my Facebook picture and okay, last scene, like where I was from and all the stuff I did, like even if I backgrounded the window, I got that as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, the browsers I use and like how many times I came and also with Meteor, there's a, it's with DDP, so when you connect, there's also a sort of a WebSocket connection after so I also track like, like how, how long it takes to connect because obviously if it's less, it's, it's much better, right? So like most of these are, that's really small, but that says uh, three, three seconds and that's really bad because that's like 10 seconds. So I must have had a terrible dial up like thing <laughs> over there. And uh, it shows when I came online, like there, my browsers and yeah, like a, f a sort of timeline of what I've done and 
the stuff in the circles is how long I spent on that page. So I've got it linked up with Iron Router, Backbone, and Meteor Router as well. So you don't have to link your pages up. It, you just add it, and it does all of that for you. Like, you don't have to really know coding as well. <laughs> OK, so uh, we, I, you can also have many servers and stuff. And we track the errors as well. So like, if you add the package and you know it's on, like hosted on Amazon or something, and you don't want to really see the logs, uh, you, they just come here. And you can also get an email whenever you get an error. Yeah, so I get an email like, cannot read property geometry of undefined. And yeah, it's kind of annoying, that one. <laughs> yeah, so and. Uh, I can know about my server. OK, I'll just go to this one. I can know about my server, like the version of Meteor I'm using, um, stuff about it, like the processor, the RAM, um, yeah, the CPU load, the, the, the amount of memory the Meteor process is using, and the amount the server is using. And I got some stuff like the environment, environment variables there. Um, the load, and I got some trends over there. So like the number of sessions, yeah, it's a bit. No one visits that site, kind of. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, because what's nice with Meteor is that you have a web socket, which is always connected to the user. So when they close the browser, the web socket disconnects. So you can kind of see how long they've spent, like exactly in the number of seconds. So you can find out like the average session, the average time they keep their browser open. Because we I use a publish function and I just watch for when they close it and then I just see how long they spent on it. So we can we can track it like that. And the browsers people use, which is kinda like everyone loves Chrome. <laughs> um, yeah the use the users over time um, the pages that people visit, and I got like an like an animation thing and an aggregate aggregate of that of the DDP load time, like like I showed you with the users. And uh, yeah, this is what I I was gonna add this, but it's not yet done. So you know when you make a Meteor app, it packages your app into a single file. So I wanted to track the size over time, like how your app has grown in like bytes and stuff. And there's also like error tracking. So on the server and on the client, like if there's an error, like maybe something is undefined or like Blaze is undefined, like for me just now. So it will come over that and same for the server. And the interesting one about the server is that uh, you can have notifications, like when you have a crash or when a user signs up, and yeah, that, that's it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's kind of glitchy. It hooks to event hooks and events. And that's how we determine who the user is, because they, the publish method knows the user. And um, I'll just add questions. <laughs> <laughs> And my Twitter, if you want to ask me there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>